Thank you, Mark. A grandmother stands accused of the murder and the tragic death of her three-year-old grandson. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Bob Euler. And I'm Haley Wilkes. News 2's Stephanie Langston spoke to the child's mother about how she wants her son to be remembered as she fights for justice. Yeah, adventurous, outgoing, and bright. Just a few words used to sum up the personality of little Carson Brasher. Kimberly Jones says he was her only little boy. The mother explaining that Amy and Jeff Brasher were Carson's legal grandparents, saying they received custody of her child in late October. But the day after Christmas, Carson was found unresponsive. Kimberly says the story she was told is that Carson slipped in the bathtub and hit his head while in the care of Amy. However, court records say Amy abused and intentionally, with premeditation, killed the child and that Jeffrey failed to protect him. Today, the mother says she is meeting with investigators to learn more details tells as to what happened to her little boy. He was he was he was good. He was a good boy. Uh, he never met a stranger, that was for sure. If if you met him, you would you would you would have fell in love with him. He changed a lot of people's lives in the short amount of period of time that he was here that we was blessed with him. Now, Amy Brasher faces two counts of first degree murder and aggravated child abuse. Jeffrey Brasher faces aggravated child endangerment. Now, Kimberly's family is selling Carson Strong shirts to help raise money for the little boy's headstone. I have more details about that on my story on our website, WKRN.com. Haley.